why you your lash have the wingspan of LeBron James? She ain't no drama. Yeah. Out there going to the dollars. Ah, summer. Holy pa my shirt, holla. Nuff girl, boy, it ain't nothing better. Right about now. Keep whining the slow for me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, B-Denay. And if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to join us in my little corner of the internet by subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. So, for today's video, I'll be doing something a little different. You know, I always bring you guys stuff that I love and stuff that I'm buying, like hauls and stuff. But today, I decided to bring you stuff that I don't like so much so this is like a list i've seen this going around it's not like an anti haul but it's like telling you like trends that i'm not too fond of so if you're interested in seeing the trends that your girl don't really like that much then keep on watching and guys disclaimer this is my personal opinion these are things i don't like for myself if you like it for you i love it for you so with that being said don't drag me in the comments. If, Like I said, if you like it for you, I love it for you, just not for me. Because some things I may like for me, you may not like for you, all right? But with that being said, let's get started. First of all, those 25 millimeter to 30 millimeter lashes. Listen, I'm a lash girl, right? I feel like a lash elevates every look, but why you, your lash have the wingspan of LeBron James? How come? <laughs> Why, if you blink too much, you might just lift off? How come? I'm wearing lashes right now. The lash style I go for, the largest lash I've ever worn was probably like 20 millimeters. And I felt like, you know, my lashes were the size of Dumbo's ears. So I usually just go for like the 15 millimeter. So yeah. First on the list is those 25 millimeter to 30 millimeter lashes. And like I said before, if you love it, I love it for you. Just not for me. That's just a trend that I can't get onto. Next up are denim jackets. <laughs> I was a denim jacket girl, you know? Up to like, what, 2019, I owned a denim jacket. It's probably still in my closet. I just never wore it. But I was never really, even though I had them, I was never really a big fan fan of denim jackets they look very teenager to me like i know they're saying that you can dress up a good denim jacket but i just don't see it i don't see it it's very high school very very elementary on grown people it just looks like toddler so buy your kid a denim jacket for you you can find a nice blazer or like something else something else. i prefer leather jackets like motor jackets a nice motor jacket or a nice blazer if you want a jacket but denim jackets please zones it <laughs> next up is chunky jewelry okay so when i mean chunky jewelry i mean those big chunky necklaces and like it as I said, if you like it for you, I love it for you. And like big chunky earrings. And what's even worse is when you wear them together. Like if you're already having big earrings, why are you going with a big chunky necklace? Big earrings, you bring the attention to your ears. You don't need attention on your neck as well. It's confusing the people. It's confusing me. So if you wear knobs, you can wear a big necklace if you so desire. I don't like them really either way <laughs> or if you wear big earrings you wear a dainty necklace or no necklace me i prefer if i'm wearing a hoop i wear a dainty necklace or no necklace if i'm wearing a knob i wear a dainty necklace or no necklace it's just like dainty jewelry looks more sophisticated more put together it's just a better look yeah like i said chunky jewelry not for me Next, I'm looking down because I have the list of things right here on my phone. Now. This, I meant business, okay, guys? Next up on my list is low waist jeans. Please don't make those come back. Please. I beg of you. No more low waist jeans. I mean, the slim girls, I guess, they look good, I guess, on you guys. I don't really, really like it on slimmer figures either. I just feel like it's... It's not flattering. It's way too low. It cuts you off too low. It makes your tor. I guess it people do it to elongate their torsos, but then it makes your like 
bottom half look shorter. I don't know. It looks weird to me. I don't like it on plus size people. I don't like it because then it makes you have muffin top and stuff like that. Get rid of them. Burn them. I don't want to see them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like them. No. Don't make them come back. Please, I beg of you. I'm, I'm all for the like 90s nostalgia, bring back different style thing, but please leave low waist jeans in the 90s where they belong. It was a phase and we got over it. Thank God we got over it. Don't bring them back, okay? <laughs> please. Then I have all over logo clothing. So like when, let's say a brand that has all over clothing is let's say Fendi. So you have on a sweater that has F F F F F F F F all over it, and then you feel the need to pair it with the leggings that have the F F F F F F F all over it, and then the shoes that have F F F or boots that have F F F F F all over it, and I'm just like, are you a walking billboard? Are you advertising? Maybe if they pay, they're paying you to advertise their brand, then I could see it, cause that'll be perfect for it. But if you taking your own coins and purchasing these things, why are you doing it? And or like the tops with the Gucci symbol all over, or like a dress with the Gucci symbol all over, it, and then you buy the Gucci stockings with the symbol all over, it, and then some Gucci sneakers with the symbol all over it. Why are you wearing them all together? Number one, and why are you wearing it all at all? Like, <laughs> I hate those all over print stuff, or even like, it doesn't even have to be designer. Like, I know Pretty Little Thing has like their all over print stuff, and I'm just like, why is this? Unless it's, you know, sponsored by Pretty Little Thing, then girl, go get your coin. But other than that, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> and then another thing that I don't like, I actually used to wear these things to work. They're peplum tops. I've become the number one, that's become my number one enemy. I hate to see peplum tops, like maybe you can get away with it at work, like I said. I still don't like them, wear a nice button down, wear a nice shirt, a blouse, doesn't have to be a peplum. There are many options out there now, especially for my plus size ladies. We have so many options out there now. Let the peplum go. But especially like you in a club in a peplum top, girl, how come? Why are you doing it? You Busting it back in a pe in a little peplum top. No, I can see it for like maternity wear, a nice baby doll top, a nice peplum top for maternity. But other than that, let the peplum go. Leave it alone. If you see peplum on the rack, don't pick it up, please. Leave it there where it belongs in the stove, so that could they could know nobody buying that and burn them. <laughs> Another thing that I don't like to see is overly baggy jeans. I know they're mom jeans, which are perfect, they are fine, but the overly baggy, big, slouchy jeans, they make you look way bigger than you are, and they're totally unnecessary. Like I said, I know we bring in back things from like the 90s, but it's not appealing to look at it makes you look frumpy slouchy I get streetwear but you can get a nice jean that looks nice and tailored into streetwear you can get oversized jean sure but like a jean that you can fit in six times why are you doing that men included like leave those overly baggy jeans alone you can get your nice straight cut jean it doesn't have to be pin on skinny but why can you fit in it six times why 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 leave it in the 90s in the early 2000s leave overly baggy jeans alone okay don't do it i don't want to see it no more i don't want to see it Y'all gonna get mad at me for this one. Those grown ass baby hairs. Those adult hairs. Those, why your baby hairs reaching your eyebrows? Hmm? I don't even do baby hairs. I rarely ever do baby hairs because they rarely ever come out good. But when I do, it's the little hairs that stick up in front of me. Y'all be taking hair from all back hair and swooping it down like, 
let those adult hair adult hairs go to work let those grown ass hairs go to work let them clock in talking about baby hairs ain't nothing baby about them <laughs> ain't nothing baby about them grown ass hairs you got reach down to your eyelids let let it go let it go if you don't have the baby hair thing then just swoop everything back please just slick everything back what's wrong with a nice slick bun without these grown baby hairs nothing wrong with a nice slick back bun we don't need baby hairs all the time you know, especially not when they are adults okay so the platform crocs not a fan I just got onto the regular croc game and then when I saw in the store they, that they had crocs with like platform heels I was like why is this happening <laughs> where would you wear those I think crocs are supposed to be like comfortable you slide on and you go so why would I wear a platform croc the audience would like to know What's the occasion to wear a platform crop? I know I'd be seeing like the Instagram girlies be wearing them for a photo, but then after that, what would you do with it? And plus they look so chunky, they're just not cute. Crocs on a whole aren't really cute, but they're mad comfortable and you can just slip them on and go if the comfortability aspect isn't there. Why are you wearing them? They're not cute. They're not. Not. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know. Then I have on the list shiny leather. Ain't nothing wrong with a nice leather pants, a nice dull leather pants, but when it gets to like those nylon shiny leather, I can't. I can't. I can't get on board. It, it just looks like you'll squeak. <laughs> Sounding like rubber ducky through the place. Like the regular letter already makes a sound. Child, I don't know what's gonna shake up the place. Anyway, the regular letter makes a sound. And I know that shiny leather just. I could just. I could just hear them. I hear those pants. I looked at some on the website and I just heard them. They were speaking to me. And they weren't saying really nice things. <laughs> so no, those shiny nylon leather pants, leave them in the stove. Do not click checkout on that cart if you have those pants in your cart. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Next up we have florals. I know that's funny with me wearing a floral shirt, but floral can be done right. Like this floral, cool. I like this floral. But you know the floral I don't like? The granny couch florals. Like that, kind of like that dress that Kim Kardashian wore when she was pregnant and then you evil people on the internet kept photoshopping her into a couch. Those kind of florals, I cannot. Please, zone do it. Zone, do it. Let those florals die, okay? Please let them go. Don't buy no more. If you're doing a floral, do a nice floral. And I don't like florals where the flowers are really tiny, so it's just like a bunch of them. That crawls my blood for some reason. Get you a nice, big, fluffy floral in a vi nice, vibrant color, or if you're doing like neutral tones, kinda, like that, but no more granny couch florals and no more tiny florals stuck together. That, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Please make it stop, make it go away. No more. Can we please banish them? Agree that you will banish them. Thanks. And then the last thing are tops with worthing on it. Sorry, mom. But I mean, you can wear them around the house, you know, casual places. Cause I have a shirt that has like influencer on it or like thick dive sit. Thick thighs save lives, but I wear them at home. I don't go out in them. 
or if I do go out, it's just going to the grocery store, but I be seeing people in like events, at events, in these shirts with all these words on it. And then like the tops from Rainbow with like the crown and the heap of wording. And I'll insert a picture so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry if that's your thing, if that's your brand, but please. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. No. Make it stop. But yeah, that's my last one for you. Those tops with the wordings on it. Or like the cartoons. Not even like cool cartoons, like you know, like they these are cartoons that people draw themselves, I guess. Um of like the black girl with the crown and saying like princess or whatever on this shirt i can't i'll insert a picture like i said to show you exactly what i'm talking about like i can't i can't i don't see it i don't see it i don't see it make it go away anyway guys those were all of the well not even all just some that i could think of right now of like the fashion trends or like fashion pieces that i be seeing Floating around that I'm not a big fan of. If you have anything to add to the list, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree with anything I said, you can also let me know in the comment section down below. Be easy on me, cause like I said, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying what I like and what I don't like. What I like, you may like, what you may like, I may not like. I just said the same thing twice, I think, but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm wishing you guys a great day, a great night, a great week whenever you're watching this video. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Jonah's hair in the gang, gang. You know and I know. So everyone should know that we lit over here. There you go, mama. I said it. <laughs> And oh, if you don't mind, you can also follow me on my social, that's Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All of that will be down in the description box down below for your easy convenience. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye. So she a prize already. Ready. You know the girl band ready. She ready.